usual, this is a level I made called Do You Hear That? And it doesn't look very interesting right now. That's because I'm not playing it the right way. Once I pause the game and turn down the volume, you'll suddenly see the whole level appear right in front of you. But how exactly did I do this? A lot of people have played this and taken a guess at how it's done, and a couple people have actually gotten close, but I don't think anyone has actually correctly guessed how it's done, so this video is here to properly explain things and give a few behind the scenes details. I hope you enjoy. Allow me to tell you how it all began. A little while after the beginning of the universe, around June of last year, I had a zany idea for making a completely silent level. I kind of wanted to make something with that idea for a long time, but up until then, I didn't quite know how I would execute it. That is, of course, until I theorized the main gimmick of the level. The way the level works is extremely simple. When using a song as quiet as Sound Effect Wind, pulsing objects don't actually pulse very large, which in my level isn't enough to be larger than the static black blocks covering them up. However, there is a neat quirk with pulsing objects that a lot of people don't know about. If you turn the in-game volume all the way down, presumably to make sure that levels that relied on pulsing objects were still possible at no volume, pulsing objects will actually default to the size that they are in the editor, which, in my level, is ever so slightly larger than the black blocks covering them up. So after discovering this worked for the first time, I made the level. And it sucked! I made some really corny text that interrupted the gameplay and the ending was kinda mid, and that's how it stayed for about a year. That is until just a few months ago, when I decided I didn't want to let such a sick concept rot in such a lame level. So, I took it and I remade it almost from scratch, all in secret. Except for this one time where I accidentally revealed it to my entire chat live on stream. Since you've been gone, I've been singing this stupid song so I can ponder- OH! OH! SHOOT ROLL LEVEL! <laughs> you guys weren't supposed to see that? <laughs> SHOOT! What the heck? Anyways, in the remake, I took the same pulsing object mask concept and ran with it even further, making significantly more interesting structuring, custom arrows, even some art in a few parts. I also removed the goofy text and wrote what is essentially a poem and just added it as text throughout the regular gameplay, which I think made it feel way less disjointed. I even made these frame by frame lips that say, do you hear that? Which I am so proud of, since the symbolism of being able to see words being spoken but not being able to hear them is a really cool way to represent the idea, I think. And after about a week of work, the full remake was out, and the old version was deleted off the servers because it low-key kind of sucked. I still have the old version saved in my levels though, and a video of all the initial reactions to the concept, which were fun to look back on. For the level as a whole, I've seen some people question whether or not it's actually rate-worthy. I've heard arguments on both sides, and the level has even gotten sent once. But honestly, I don't think it can be rated, which is okay. The level is basically impossible if you don't know how to make it visible, and even though I left the solution in the comments, and it's one of the most liked ones, I just think the stipulation makes it unrateable. And honestly, I don't really mind. I think if I added some message saying turn down your volume when you died or something, it would kind of ruin the immersion, so I'm okay leaving the level as it stands. After all, a level's quality isn't decided by whether or not it's featured. Anyways, that's about it. I've been wanting to make a video explaining this level since it came out the first time. I've just managed to procrastinate making it for a whole year. So hopefully this has solved the mystery of the level a little bit, and maybe it can even inspire you to use this concept in your own levels. With that being said, 